द एसेंस ऑफ सहज मार्ग मैसेज एट माइसूर ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर वर्ल्ड एवेट्स फॉर डिवाइन पर्सनैलिटी इन ईगर एक्सपेक्टेशन ग्रेट मैन आर नॉट बॉर्न एक्सीडेंटली दे आर बॉर्न वेन द वर्ल्ड वेट्स फॉर देम इन ईगर एक्सपेक्टेशन द टाइम वेन स्पिरिचुअलिटी वॉज टॉटरिंग helplessly and the solid materialism has usurped the position of spiritualism in human life and yogic transmission had become quite obsolete advent of new era in spirituality the great soul of my master descended down on earth this spiritual genius was born on basanta panchami day 2nd february 1873 his life marks the advent of a new era in spirituality he made wonderful researches in this science and has made human approach up to the farthest limit possible and practical for a man in the least possible time best guide in the spiritual pursuit great saints by their preachings try to guide to uplift the masses to higher level of consciousness but of all these one who can foment us by his own inner powers would be the best for a guide in the spiritual pursuit it is he and he alone who perceives our inner complexities understands our real needs and knows how to take us along the path to the final limit pranahuti of course is the chief instrument he works with present conditions under the present conditions the poisonous effect has overshadowed the entire cosmos so as to attack every mind and keep it in a state of tumult and disorder when the senses have all gone out of control and the individual mind is on the wings every moment we stand in need of such a personality to take us along supporting us by his superior powers greatest impediment in the path the greatest impediment in the path is the unregulated action of the senses which have gone out of control for this the method of suppression or strangulation hitherto advised under the older systems are not of much avail under the sahaja marg system of spiritual training the action of senses is regulated in a natural way to bring them to their original state
control of higher centers of super consciousness the lower vrittis which are working independently are subjected to the control of higher centers of super consciousness hence their perverse action is stopped and the higher centers in their turn come under the charge of the divine centers and in this way the whole system begins to get divinized proper regulation required for divine life we cannot give up what comes to us from god but only modify them so as to bring them to proper regulation required for divine living i may make it clear to you that if kama is somehow destroyed in toto the intelligence will vanish altogether because it is closely connected with the intelligence center if krodha is destroyed a man will not be able to proceed either towards god or towards the world really it is only krodha that excites actions which is thus a necessary requirement of an embodied soul similar is the case with ahankara or egoism generally the word i is used for the self is identified with the body if somehow one is relieved of the idea of body or even soul he gets closest to that one craves for man is bipolar being man is a bipolar being it has got its root nearest to the base and the other end towards the world the individual mind is a part of the godly mind shobha so far as my personal experience goes i find that it is only the help of divine personality that can turn it towards the base it is only the power and the will of such a personality that marks in this respect highest human approach as for the highest human approach i may say that if by god's grace one gets into the central region after crossing all the rings of splendor the very atoms of the body begin to turn into energy and then further on its ultimate for our entry into higher regions the master's help is indispensable this is in brief about sahaj mark 
everyone is welcome to try and have a practical experience of it. Thank you.